Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the cap box from Hack the Box. I'm going to be doing like a full walkthrough and hopefully you guys find this informative. If you have any questions, please leave comments below. I'm more than happy to answer them to the best of my knowledge. So we're going to go ahead and um, compromise this box today. So if you guys are ready, let's get into it. Let's see what's uh, what, what this box is all about. So I have my IP address here as 10.129.147.15. So I want to copy that and let's open up. I don't have anything in that in this directory right now. So what I want to do is I want to run an nmap scan. So with a I want to see what services are running. And let's go ahead and just do mm, that's ST just to throw it in there. And we could do a full port scan. And let's go ahead and put the output as cap.txt. That should be fine. Okay, and let's go ahead and paste that IP address. Let's go ahead and see what we got cracking on here. We'll give this a few minutes to give us the full results and see what we have going on here. Okay, so hopefully everyone's having an awesome day so far. And, uh, I just put out an actual video, you know, on how to install Kali Linux 2022.1. This is what we're running here. And this is the first time I'm using this video. I'm using this laptop with this. So I had to like get a whole bunch of uh, tools and I had to install everything again. Like I just downloaded the sec list just in case this has any, any good stuff that we have to utilize for scanning with GoBuster or any, any, any good stuff like that. So we'll give this a few moments to do its thing. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Let's see if we can move this over. Uh, let's leave it like that, that's fine. Okay, so we'll give this a few seconds. We can also just, you know, I just downloaded this sec list, so I can actually just take this out of here. I, let me actually just open up Google, just in case we have to go to Google. I you know, just one here, just in case there's Python running. I was just trying to get our poly the, the preliminary things up and running just in case we need to result to anything here. Okay, let's see if this is still going. What I can do just to, you know, for uh, giggles, let's try to see if there's a web service is running on here. I have no idea. I think I did this box a while back, but it's been a while. Okay, so we do have, you know, so HTTP is running on here. So we, we do have port 80 open from the, from the looks of it. So don't know what other stuff is running on here. So we can just go like poke around, see what's on here. So we have dashboards. So it looks like security events, looks like failed logins and port scans, unique IPs. I don't know how, you know, how accurate this is. So if we go to, you know, security snapshots, five second PCAP and all that good stuff. So we can see, we can download these. So there's probably gonna be a whole bunch of these. Let's see, for example, two, there's probably a whole bunch. Whoops, let's go back here. I don't know what happened there. Maybe a fat finger or something. Let's see if this is done, nope. Okay. So that's data zero. Okay, let's do data two. See if there's anything there. I guess there isn't because it's keep it's kicking me back to the home page. So let's just go for an example. Go back to the uh, the security snapshots. So there is data one. So let's see for example data zero. Okay, data zero does have some stuff. So what we can do here is probably download this, but what I wanna do is actually see what we're, what our results will be before I download that. But you know what? We'll do this. We'll uh, go ahead and download this and we'll save it, okay? 
So what we're going to do is save this, and it's going to be in our downloads. So once that's downloaded, we can probably open it up with Wireshark because it's a PCAP file, right? So if there's any PCAP files, you can use Wireshark to open that file up, okay? But before we go any further, I would like to see the output. But so let's just go ahead and just CD dot dot CD dot dot. Let's make this a little larger. Clear. Whoops. Okay. Let's CD into downloads. Okay, LS. So we have this zero dot cap. So if we open up Wireshark zero dot cap, this should open up Wireshark in our, let's see if we can make this a little bigger. Uh, hmm. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so we can see here there's, there's, um, there's a whole bunch of packets in here. What we can see, what we can look through is maybe some passwords or usernames or something like that if I remember correctly. But first we have to know what services are running first in order to, uh, but I'll look for some, you know, SSH, for example, SSH. Is there anything SSH? Maybe FTP, whoops, FTP. Okay, cool. All right, so we have Nathan here, which we know Nathan is a user because if we go back to um, our, our site, we have Nathan here, okay? So in the password right here looks like it's bucket or bucket hat forms, whatever this is. So what we can do is take this and we can copy this off. So let's just copy this. See if we can select that. Uh, let's just see if there's a way copy, copy, uh, Full field, that should be fine. Let's open up a text editor. Okay. Whoops, I didn't mean that. Sorry. So we have text editor. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's just, anything, doesn't really matter. I just want to paste this in here. Are you serious? All right. Uh, let's just, just type it. So it's bucket capital H for T F O R M three exclamation. Okay. So if we go, that's, that's going to be the password. Okay. And let's, the, the user looks like it's going to be Nathan, right? Uh, let's just double check that. I believe it is Nathan. Let's just go back to N-A-T-H, yep, N-A-T-H, okay, cool. So let's just put that here, and we can X, we can kill that. We're still waiting for our Nmap scan. Maybe the smarter thing would have been to do this prior, but it's all good, okay? So we know, so we know there's a few ports open, and, and we'll verify that. So if we go back here, and we just put ports, open. So we know 80 is open. We know FTP, so this port 21, right? So that's all we know at the moment because these are the services that we are using. Okay, so what we can do now, we can try to FTP at Nathan at 10.129.147.15. Dot dot Okay, so the password. So it looks like the password may be this. Whoop, let's just copy this bad boy. Copy, paste, enter. Nothing. So let's just, so maybe that's not the the password for FTP. Okay, so let's see if there's SSH. Maybe there's SSH. 
I'm just going to put it here. I don't know off the top of my head, to be honest, but let's just do SSH. 10.10.10. 10 129. I'm just guessing right now to be 100% honest. 15. Okay. Yes. Let's use that fancy password again. Enter. Uh, let's make sure that is the password. Happy. Let's make sure it is pasting. Okay, it is pasting. Okay. Let's come back here, paste. Did I put the right password? Uh, 10.129 Nathan. See, at, like I said, at this very moment, I don't know what other services are running. Until I have that, that's all I can go by. So let's just give us, give us a minute. We can verify that is the password. Unless I may have typed it in wrong. Let's just double check. B U C K three T capital H four T. Let's just open that up really quick again, just to triple check. Let's do FTP and password. All right, so let's just triple check this. Capital B U C K three T capital H four capital T F. Oh, I think this is a zero. Zero. Yep, I think that's where I uh, may have fat fingered it. So let's just do this again. Let's try to copy this and. We can go ahead and kill this now. Okay, so let's try to go ahead and try to FTP it again. Okay, password, let's paste this new one in. There we go. Okay, cool. Sorry about that, guys. So we see here, let's see PW, PWD. We are in Nathan. So in Nathan, we have user.txt. So if we cat user.txt, Okay, so let's try to so we let's try to do this. Let's see because we know SSH is working. Let's use SSH instead. Paste that fancy password. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So now let's do an ls user.txt. So now we can cat user.txt. Perfect. So. I'm just going off the seat of my pants until we get our Nmap scan and we can dissect that. So let's just copy this. This is flag number one. Okay, so now we have to get the flag number two, which is root. Okay, so now what we have to do, because obviously if we do a who am I, where am I? And then we can just do a little end end and ID. Okay. So we can see we're Nathan. We're logged in as Nathan and we are Nathan. So now what we have to do, we may have to, you know, escalate our permissions. So the way we can do that is what we can do here. Let's just do, let's see which Python is running here. Okay. Python. So we have Python 3, okay? So we can see that Python 3 is available, all right? So what we're gonna do really quick, well, that thing is taking forever, and this is why I went to uh, the site G GTF OBINS. So here we can, what we can do, we can, we already have a shell, right? So with that, all we have to do now is see what else we can use to escalate our permissions, right? So I wanna to try to do something really 
quick just to see if it works. So we can come down here, we can do the compatibilities. And what we're gonna do here is run this user. Uh, user, where is it? Uh, do, 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 OS uh, imports. I think, I believe it is here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this. Okay, so now let's go back to here, paste this here. And before that, you know, uh, we know Python 3 is running. 3. All right, so Python 3 is, should be running. Oops. Okay, so if I do who am I, I'm root. Okay, perfect. So we can do PWD, we're in Nathan. So if we do CD dot dot, and now I can do an LS. I'm in Nathan, let's go ahead and do one more LS. And now we're on the root. So you can see one the root. So we can CD to root, okay. Now we do an ls. Now we have root.txt. So now if we cat root.txt, and we have the root file, the root flag. So we can copy this and put that here. And I wanna go ahead and kill this because that's taken a really, really long time. So what I'm gonna do really quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and let's just do a quick service scan, see if it scans quicker. But that pretty much completes both flags. So now what we can do, since we have both flags, we can submit flags. So the flag number one is right here. We can copy this, we can paste it here, and we can say that was difficulty three, submit flag, okay. You, I, oh, I already did this. So I, I probably did this a while back. So the same thing goes for the root flag. So we go back here, copy the root flag, paste it. And then once you submit the flag, you will get credit for it. And you know, you'll, you'll have like a little thing that comes up. So let's see how this thing is coming along. I don't know why this thing is taken forever for this and map scan. It's pretty, pretty crazy, but I guess like, you know, obviously the first thing is first, you're gonna run an Nmap scan. And we were able to pretty much, let's exit here. Let's exit here, we can exit this machine. And let's exit this as well. Exit. Okay, so now we just have these two screens. So that's pretty much concludes this video. I wanted to show you the Nmap scan, but as you can see, we have port 80 open, we had port 21 open, and port 22. And we were able to find the username and password in our Wireshark PCAP file. And that's how we were able to find out, you know, Nathan and his fancy password. And then we can use FTP, SSH. We use those credentials in order to get into this box. And then, then we can, you know, navigate around to see where the flags reside. So hopefully this has been informative for you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, share, and until next time, have a good one. Thank you.